Devor and I create our albums remotely. We, of course, have been together in person many times, but we have a kind of psychic connection in the way that we work, and we both know what the other one is going to think of something. So it's an amazing relationship creatively and friendship to be in because we push each other and help each other to create the music that goes to another level and so working with him is always just a joy and we're really really passionate about creating music that will hopefully uplift or serve so seeing this project come together has been amazing and then working on the videos for the project for the Awaken album that we created he worked with a Slovenian team for those videos now for I Am Peace, um, we're working here in the States with our team to create these videos. So it's been interesting to flip the visual component for this album too. The lyrics for these songs are very channeled. So they, they come through in a very quick way. So partly because I Am Peace is a collection of all of the transmission songs, that project was very much about creating music and words that would raise and uplift your frequency. So the lyrics for Life Holds Me and, and all of the songs on I Am Peace uh, are very coming from another plane. And that was how I experienced the writing of them. And, and any that didn't feel like they were not coming from that plane didn't get to go on the album. Life Holds Me is a song about literally being held by life or by love in your life. And it's funny, when we were creating the album I Am Peace, it was the one song to me that really emotionally in the melody got you in the heart. So as I was creating the melody for Divorce Music, I came up with the lyrics and the lyrics to me always just felt like getting a hug. And in the year I, we were making this album, I think everybody needed a hug. So the song to me is really about that reminder. And so in a way with the video, we wanted to embody that on the screen about the connections in our life and the relationships in our life and the love in our life that can hold us in those really tough moments. I think initially when I heard this song and I was thinking about and visualizing what life holds me could be, it was really about life and finding the lightness and the darkness. I felt that working in some of the light movement and the shadows and the great emotional expressions from the talent would harness that feeling and give us that emotional connection to the music. Everyone in this video is someone that we are close to, is a family member. So that was really special to see all of these real life relationships interacting with each other for the video. And that to me really comes across on a heart level. Being in the studio that day, it was incredibly special. It felt like an intimate space that was filled with so much connection, not only observing my family interact in the way that they did in such a vulnerable, tender way, but everyone that was part of the video came with an open heart and a presence that was unique and special. And every day I wait. With I Am Peace, I love the metaphor of Lee and his soul kind of in the shadows of the forest and how that representation of life and emotions and the ups and downs could come together in the song. And so working with Lee in this forest as dust is filtering around that also moves into this other world where Stephen is was sort of like the metaphor of his soul in movement. We created an environment here in the studio um, that was a lot of fun. Uh, we brought in lots of, a lot of leaves and uh, some outside parts of trees and branches and blend it all together for the video so that you get this very elemental 
environment that really is one of the places that we feel most peace when we're in nature because our nervous system calms down. And so Stephen expressing through dance and through movement, his connection and his sense of peace in his own expression is really one of the focuses of the video. Remember Your Magic is one of my favorite musical pieces on the album and there is a mysticism in that song and I remember writing it and it was when the lyric in the seen and the unseen is a rising alchemy we call magic. That to me is perfect. I, I know that world, I know that feeling. And so for the song, we wanted to capture something that felt a little magical and mystical and mysterious. And really the song is to remind all of us that we have the magic in us. I paint very intuitively and in a very improvisational way. And so we didn't quite know how it was gonna go or what we were gonna get. We managed to, in a way, paint that video into life because we weren't 100% sure what we were going to do. But as the day went on, we had created and constructed the set and come up with all kinds of ideas to flesh out the video. So for me, it's funny that the magic video ended up being the most magical and the most on the fly, intuitive. And by the end of the day, we were really happy with what we'd got. When we showed up in the morning, we had no idea what it was going to be. And by the end of the day, we were really super excited to share this with everyone because it felt so real and it felt like not only the magic of creativity in the art and in the writing, but it was also creative in the process of making this video. It was as if magic was revealing itself as we created the set, as we moved throughout the day. And at the end of the day, I left feeling really honored and privileged to have had that magical experience. Devor and I have always had a very close, intuitive relationship musically that's very connected to the channeling. And for me, when you feel and hear the song Remember Your Magic, the evidence of that is very much encoded into that song, into Devor's arrangements, and into how it all came out in the end. Welcome to the studio where I Am Peace was recording with a lot of help from Amor. <laughs> so these are the guitars that were used. These are the synthesizers. I love this old cork. I usually use it for very deep sustained bass sounds. This synth is one of the first Rolands and it was used for all the lead sounds on I Am Peace. The wee 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 wee. Um, it's really, it's really beautiful sound. A lot of scenes are here that I, that I basically use all the time. Um, they are nicely hidden here. <laughs> so enough about the scenes because everybody knows I'm crazy about them. <laughs> so this is the rest of the studio that uh, everything is mixed before we send stuff to Randy for mastering. So these here are the compressors, here are preamplifiers and EQs and all of that. More synths here, as you can see. And a little secret here is the place that Amor usually sleeps when I work music, especially at nights. So hello from Ljubljana. I hope you enjoy the album and lots of love. Bye. One of the things is the producer of this video. Um, at one point, Lee wanted to bring in glitter, and I said no to that. <laughs> this was a really unique shoot. Like, 
No, no, I was being dead serious. This was a really unique shoot because... <laughs> I wish there was a second camera so you could see what I have to deal with on the other side here. <laughs> I do my own hair and my own makeup. Many people ask, but no, this is, I mean, it takes work, but it's worth yeah. it for the result. Thank you, Lee. <laughs>